another quality that Dohnami had, especially that Dietrich had too, uh, was immense sort of resourcefulness and skill in figuring out uh, solutions to awkward and difficult communications problems, for example. Uh, and that became, of course, wildly important once they were arrested and in jail. How are they then going to communicate with their families uh, or each other? They were in two separate jails. Uh, they had practiced, of course. They had expected that they might well be arrested. And so they had practiced for years writing in code. And they had, they had joking references. Mrs. Bonhoeffer, Frau Bonhoeffer, the psychiatrist's fantastic wife, had a very reactionary uh, uncle or cousin, Rudiger von der Goetz, and uh, a, an army officer and, and, and a proud anti-Semite. And uh, so they used his name to talk about war plans. <laughs> so when Dietrich was in, in New York and writing in, which he was briefly in 1939 and writing back to his family, he said, do let me know about Uncle Rudy's birthday plans, which meant, what do you know about Germany's war plans? Uh, the resourcefulness that Hans brought to this business of being completely uh, able to live a double life uh, was truly astonishing. Dietrich never had it, it was, and, and Hans decided he, Dietrich shouldn't have to go through this so much himself. So the burden of the planning and the talking about the uh, cons various conspiracies to remove Hitler, it was at first, not necessarily to kill him, uh, Hans took mostly on his shoulders. And indeed, after they were arrested, the interrogations were largely on, again, directed at Hans, not, not his uh, brother-in-law. Uh, some of the letters that Hans wrote to Christina uh, and, to, and to Dietrich are just astonishing in their courage and their resourcefulness. In February 1945, when he was incredibly ill and he had been in jail for two years, uh, he had uh, he wrote a long letter to his wife, which he wrote on, on pieces of cardboard no bigger than that, which were, in fact, the bottoms of paper cups. And he wrote in little tiny handwriting. And the letter is very long. It took him 10 or 12 cups, <laughs> cups to write this letter. And the letter is A, a fantastically, extravagantly moving love letter to his wife. It is, secondly, a very detailed uh, account of what they must now think of. In other words, he was still thinking, how are we going to get out of this? If they do this, we must do this. If they do that, we must do this. We must always remember to do it. the other thing. The, the clarity and bravery of his continuing to understand that they must just go on fighting to the very end. Mm -hmm.